Uh, we're going to learn how to play this stupid robot today. Um, okay, so... I'm going to turn like you up a little my, bit, actually. My 60-second, like, manifesto on Defect is that this character is kind of dumb. Like, the, the Defect has... Is, is like just drowning in ways to be really, really abusive in late game, and particularly like, you know, five turns into a fight. So the, the challenge with Defect is like finding those ways to survive Act 1 and make your, your first couple turns in later fights not just completely awful. So like, particularly in Act 1, I'm really looking for some of the strong early game commons are like Ball Lightning, is damage plus summon a lightning orb. Um, chill or a uh, cold snap is like damage plus summon a frost orb. Mm -hmm. And basically, like I, I don't value holding onto orbs at all in Act One. I'm just like evoke that shit as fast as possible. You're just trying to churn through the track as much as you can because that output is going to be much higher. Like later on, when you've got like eight orb slots and your frost orbs are blocking for ten apiece, then you can just like hold on to them. But early game, yeah, churn that shit up. Okay. We'll have, to, we'll have to walk through that because, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do it's easy. It I definitely understand what you're saying right now. Like, I'm processing it. Or I'm trying to process it, but I need to see it in action. Do okay. you smell what he's stepping in? Uh, look at the look at the map first. Oh. I generally how do you look at the map? Take, Here, M. Um, I'm like pretty much always taking max HP over. The... That's Hexagos. Um. That's like probably the one we want to see the most. Uh, major the the defect means that like we're automatically going to have scaling damage from our lightning orbs, and right. the ghost is beaten by scaling damage. Looks like if you want to fight two majors, you have to go left track, right? Um, scroll down. Let me look at the bottom here. Kind of a goofy map. You have to go through at least. God, is there? Hold on one sec. Wait, what's broken? It's just not coming on at all? Hold on. I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, you're good. So, so this is a goofy looking with... map. How do you feel with the uh, fourth level of Groove? <laughs> Featuring Chinese Nico, Bondaya, Kanan Umi's a child, a blue Korean. <laughs> it it, it is Kanan Umi's child. That's a and, simple uh, fact. My personal favorite, Chinese huh? Yo. Like, how do you feel you about the fourth? The fourth generation. I don't... I, I'm so fucking done with that franchise. Like, I, I'm done. I, I, I quit. I'm like, gonna... fuck it. I don't have the mental energy to to do that again. Dude, I'm too old for this, man. I I, I did it like for I I did my time. I'm too and old for some. this stuff. I I I owe the franchise and Sunrise nothing. <laughs> like, Sunrise will continue getting my money, just not from that franchise. Yeah. But I. Do you think it's better that we're only gonna have five girls this time around? Because that means the during the inevitable anime, hopefully they'll the, they'll get more uh, character development as a whole. Because you don't have to worry about like one girl not getting spot. That just means the waifu wars will be more savage. That's probably better, honestly. I'm I'm no prisoners. Like, like I'm interested to see if they're gonna be able to make the girls less one note. Because if you don't play like the if you didn't play Squadron Festival or read like the manga and all the other su supplemental stuff for Muse mm -hmm. and Aqua, th the girls are incredibly one note. But if you like go and like look at the other stuff, you'll see there's actually more depth to their characters. So you're like, saying they're... Love Live is Destiny lore? Yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> but, like the difference is that Love Live lore is actually good. That's how okay. TJ said that. Um... He'll, fight, he'll fight me on that. But no, that's all I'm saying. Yikes. It's like... The elites kind of suck here. This is a shitty map, really I think. Have, you have to take four early hallway fights, which is rough. But yes, uh... We also don't get a campfire before the first elite, so like... There's... If we try to do that, there's a chance we just get shit on. I would start at the far right to give us, like, the option to bail out if these first three fights go badly. Yeah, okay, I see. But, but yeah, Tom, like... If and I you said max HP for sure? Yeah. If we're going off of aesthetic alone, I think Khan and Umi's child wins so far. Yeah, you're right. They'll reveal their profiles uh, on Monday. John, so guess we'll... what we were talking about while you uh, you were gone? Uh, are you talking about the the show? Where Fucking waifus. Five jailbaits. 
Yeah, five jail based the show. Okay, so what are we looking at? Like, yeah, we why got rid they... of those annoying older students. Now it's just first year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the defect early deck is pretty skewed towards offense. Like you just have four defense and you have a couple of strikes and you have the zap and the dual cast. Um, so the zap and dual cast are very good damage, but notably they're quite bad against two of the Act 1 elites. Like, they're really bad against Gremlin Knob because they're skills, and they're kind of bad yeah. against the tri sentries because it goes to a random target, and we really want to burst one of them down. So, like, they're good for hallway fights. We're looking for some help for elites. Um, okay. For this, I would first just fire off the dual cast. Yeah. Let's see, because it hits each. It hits twice for eight. We'll see if it kills the small If it one-shots him. That. Okay. And then we can evaluate what to do after that. Yeah, okay. We had so pretty good odds. To, Zap to get another one. And just, and then just whack strike. him. Yep. Probably we'll get like, the cleanup. Orbs are so stupidly strong in this game. It's it's pretty much all about like getting your orb stuff going. Where is... Is there like a survivor tier list in this game? A survivor I, tier list? Well, I mean, like, there's four characters. I don't know why I'm the survivor, but like, there's four of them, right? Like, is there survivor a survivor? Is isn't that risk terrain? Isn't that what yeah, it's just terrain. Yeah. I, I've been playing too much of that, obviously. But um, like, is there like one that's generally considered to be the best character? Um, I think they're all viable. Like, Watcher is pretty clearly the most overtuned. The other three are about the same. Um, so of these three here, I don't. I'm not in love with any of these. Uh, Probably the block one, right? Or the no, attack because our deck is already very skill heavy and we like we just straight up die to gremlin knob right now and that makes that fight even worse oh yeah um i think you're not happy to take it but i think you take streamline all right we just we're looking for those cards that like get us through act one right now and that's not great but it it does that it's better than than nothing yeah you gotta start um, somewhere yeah dual cast and let's see what it hits one um, shot, and then one one. Yeah. Cool. Got him. And you don't need this block too. You're already playing defect like a pro. I'm using strikes and blocks. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's fine. Okay, he died. Cool. Uh, um, that's what like you were talking about. Just windmill slam the cold snap. Uh, turbo is a great. I love game turbo. Card. Really, really good late game card. Recursion is like niche good if you're playing a deck that is like all about I make a million frost and one dark orb and wait for it to one shot everything like recursion can be good in that specific deck outside of that not really oh Cold okay snap, though, I, I was putting too much value in this one my okay. it's it's not great um like you could just be re you could just be evoking that orb by playing a card that gets you an orb and then like you've done the evoke and you also get a new orb mm -hmm. so it's just better. Like, Cold Snap is everything we're looking for right now. It gets us some passive block, it gets us new orbs, it's an attack, so if Gremlin Knob doesn't hate it. Right. It's front-loaded damage. It's, it's like, one of the best early game cards we can find. We're going for uh, the question mark. question mark? Yeah. Uh, Shimmering Mass of Light. Um, we took the extra max HP, so, like, we're pretty safe to lose 16 here. They're random, and they're probably going to be strikes and blocks, though, but we'll... Even if they are, it's okay. Fuck it. That's going to increase the output of our deck a pretty good amount. Since we have a very small deck, we're going to see those cards a lot. Okay, so I just need that now. I have the five jail base, John. Who do you like best? God damn it, George. They're all trash. <laughs> it's, it's been on my mind all day, god damn it. Um, <laughs> just... I would, uh... Two, two, so one. This guy... Yeah, I would dual cast, defend, defend, I think. Oh, you really don't want that lightning orb. So, we just did 16 damage with it. This fight would have to go on for 6 turns before that lightning orb caught up with that much damage. And the, it's not lasting 6 turns. So like, evoking immediately is the, is the way to go. Uh, zap, cold snap, and then... Uh, Order doesn't really matter. Not really. Oh, zap. Zap, cold snap. Uh, I think I would... Given that we're trying to go through a kind of hard path, I would defend, like... If, Prioritize preserve bringing your health a little bit here. Yeah, if we're if we're not going for the the campfire, we should preserve health. Uh, can we kill him? No, no. definitely a zap. I would 
Let's just do zap, defend, strike plus. 12, 21. Uh, he's at 23. Okay. Yeah, so zap, defend plus, strike plus. Okay, uh, back. Okay, so a game related question. I just did math on stream. Are you guys proud of me? Yes. I am, very. although I realize we did just miss lethal there because you had 21 in strikes and then our lightning or would have done three. Ah, shit. It doesn't matter. We didn't take any damage. Uh, just dual cast. No, no, no. Well, I mean, it's full block anyway. Yeah. Dual cast the frost orb gets you more block, but we weren't taking anything anyway. Okay, so John, question. That's how much you block? Know how... It's, it's ten block for a dual cast. Okay. Like you know, like you mentioned last time that because we play other card games, we try to like lock ourselves into certain strategies. Uh huh. My my problem with defect is that. It's, that's way harder because there's so many different like orb types. I don't even know. Like I, I always end up try, like not sure what to do. So the deck is like a hodgepodge of things that don't work together. It's so it's I pretty never, that's obscure. Just kind of what defect decks look like. Like my de winning defect decks usually end up being like 38 cards, and it's a pile of random shit with like one kind of orb synergy that ends up coming out of it. And I generally favor like heavy frost generation if I have a choice, but like. Sometimes it's just make so much lightning stuff dies kind of thing, you know? Okay. Um, so, we have kind of a choice here. Um, Capacitor is, like, of these three, like, very clearly the best card going forward. But cool-headed to get an extra Frost, maybe a little bit better right now. Um, yeah. Capacitor does, oh, it gets us more orbs for like passive stuff, but it also makes it take longer for stuff to... Evolve. We only have one frost generation right now. Yeah. So... Um... Uh... Look at the map again. Well, we're... It, are we gonna go for this elite, right? That's kind of the strat? Yeah, we do get... Keep scrolling up. We're gonna get one campfire right after it, and then not another one until that. Yeah, and we're locked in at the second elite if we yeah. go for the first one. I think you should take the cool headed, get us a little more frost going. I tend to agree. Oh, we can actually still bail if this fight goes bad. So Yeah. This one is from the harder pool. We do have the potion there we can use, but we'd rather save that for an elite. Right. One slaver. Uh um. See, Actually, I don't have a lot of rounds. Down for sure. I think we just play. Don't play the strikes. Just play everything else. Are we still gonna be getting rid of all the strikes as soon as we can, or um, we're gonna eat I mean, damage here? The option to do so, but like we said last time, I don't particularly highly value card removal. Like, if you can get them out, yeah, it's still the worst cards in your deck, but. Yeah, because like, okay. Because I feel like last time we did it, you seemed pretty hell bent on us removing the strikes as soon as possible. That deck was like the kind of deck that we wanted to be removing strikes from, and we were getting a lot of opportunities to do it. But like we weren't really prioritizing it. It was just something that we were kind of getting out of it, you know. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Tom's playing a lot faster than I am. Well, those weren't really decision turns, like. Uh, so. Ball Lightning and FTL are both quite good cards here. Um, I would lean towards the Ball Lightning because that's going to get us the more orb stuff. But like Ball Lightning is just a stupidly, stupidly good attack card. Mm -hmm. like, it's 10 damage for one energy. Do you like Charge Battery at all? I'm always I a do, fan of these next right turns. Now. Okay. We're about to fight Elites, and like that's it's a better block a little bit. It's kind of like a mid game block card because we want to be generating that energy and. Right now, we just want don't really want skills because this could have been Gremlin Knob here. Um, He's asleep. So he will sleep for three turns. We want to set ourselves up as best as possible before we wake him up. So I would just zap pass. He only wakes up if you do damage to his actual health. So these these oh are these blocks okay and then, uh, not wake him up. <clears throat> gotcha. I would try to have a third orb. By the time he wakes up? Yeah. Uh, well, I think you can just do ball, strike, strike. Okay, so we're waking him up now? I'm just going? Yeah. You're gonna have, that way you'll have three orbs, and like, this is, that's about as much damage as you can do in one turn. Yeah, he's down at 86, <clears throat> okay. 
And we have a. Do you have animation plus. set on slow? Maybe. I'll fix that shit. Where is that? Fast mode under preferences. Look at Tom using normal combat speed. I didn't. That's it. Let's they're... go ahead and see what we draw. <laughs> no, Tom. That is faster. Right Hello. Um, I think just cold snap and. You gotta seize. probably block, right? Yeah, I think I think we're not gonna be killing him like next turn or anything. So I think the defend is the right play. So we'll take nine, which is fine. That's yeah, better than better than not. That seriously is so fast now. Okay, a uh, double. This is 13, 15, 17, and that's as much block as we can get. Yeah, I think that defend defend is the right call here. Like, this is something that Defect is very, very good at, is these Act 1 Elites, if you get just a little bit of help with your deck, you can get to this point where, like, you can be spending your energy blocking and letting your orbs do the work, and so uh -huh. you can do, like, really well at these early game Elites. So we uh, can... Wall Lightning... Cold snap, and then dual cast to evoke the lightning. <clears throat> yeah, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, so okay. we'll go to 18 here. Um, we can get 10 out of the strikes. Plus that's not enough. Uh, nah. What's in your discard pile? You might be able to spend this potion here. Ball lightning. We can get the lightning out of it. Yeah, so we would get 6. From the That'd ball be lightning 16 hit, plus 12, yeah. and then 6 out of the orbs, and then strike would kill. So, yeah, I think it's worth spending a potion to save taking another hit here. Well, I was gonna dual, I was gonna dual cast this, right? Oh, yeah, I mean, either way works. Okay, yeah, either way, we're, we're just spending the, the potion to get damage out. They're both lethal. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Letter opener three skills deal five damage to all enemies. That's pretty solid. Um, Defect struggles a little bit with AoE, and we play a lot of skills. Um, Block removal. Overclock. Deck again? I think we're skipping here, honestly. Yeah. Um, your deck is kind of like... This is pretty good at this like Act 1 Elite kind of stuff right now. And none of those... Those are all kind of like... So the... The Melter and the Rebound are both cards that, like, if you take them in the first cut, like, three floors, you're kind of happy with, but now we're getting less happy with them as the run progresses. And, um, Overclock's not bad, but as it is, like, we're, we're pretty happy, like, I'd, we're pretty happy to play. This card makes me nervous. The cards that we <laughs> draw right now, and getting burns into our own deck is not, like, Ideal. what we're about right now. We don't need Melter. No, it's the the remove block is not that good. All that relevant, honestly. Okay. I see what you're saying. Uh, probably heal on this. Or are you on um, Smith? Let's look at our deck. Let's see what would, what's the best upgrade we can get. Um, I don't know what the, all the upgrades do. So upgrading off the top that of and dual cast make them cost zero. Um, Channeling or upgrading cool headed makes it draw an extra card. Ball lightning and cold snap and streamline just do extra damage. Right. Um making zap free is not bad. Let's look at the map again. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There's one, two, three, four, another five. Empire. Yeah. I think if we upgrade, we probably get through this, but we also could die. If we rest, we definitely get through it, but with a slightly not as strong. Damage. I'm not like super crazy for any of those upgrades. Like Zap for free, I guess is the only yeah, one. Yeah, they're not like mega high impact. Like Zap is a nice one, but I think I think we can rest here and just play it safe. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, those animations are super fast, aren't they, Seth? Like. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that they were this. That's too fast. Look at that shit. Uh, we can definitely cold snap. Probably cold snap defend strike defend plus. Strike plus. Streamline is just not doing a lot for us this run. This is why I wasn't like super excited to take. Yeah, it. we don't have the time to ca to cast it. We just don't. Definitely ball lightning. Just ball lightning strike strike. Yeah, if he's not attacking, okay, we're good. 
We only took, like, what, six damage or something? That went fine. I don't think it was Ooh, I love this potion. Love you, Blessing of the Forge. And we're not getting great card rewards here. Um, I'm not thinking we This is trash. Days, to be honest. Um, I like chaos. It can be good sometimes, and then sometimes it's terrible. We do still have an elite ahead of us that is a 50 50 shot, is Gremlin Knob, and that card is terrible there. Um, That's fair. Hello World is okay, but not fantastic. Two random skills. Hopefully we just hit Overcharge and Zap. We'll or, hit Dual Cast. Uh, I meant uh, Dual Cast, yeah. So at least we hit Dual Cast. So we get that one for free, which is nice. And that's kind of what we were going to do. Oh, right. these stupid rats. Okay. Cool headed for sure to start with. And Ball uh, Lightning. Yeah, we like, I think we like Ball Lightning Defend. Do you care on your priority? The lower, the lower health? Yeah. Yeah. If there was one that was buffing itself, you could go for that one instead because it would be doing more damage soon. Right, now um, we probably run the free dual cast. dual cast first while we've got lightning in front. Nice. Uh, cool, he's snap. dead. Yeah, just, just play. Yeah, that's good because that's going to evoke frost, so we'll get some block. Yeah, that'll save us a little damage. And we're done. Yeah, like. You can see how ridiculous. Just like a couple of these orb commons makes your your early game. Um, Run another ball lightning. I think we want leap here. Let's look at the deck again. So okay, we've got four strikes. Zap and dual cast are basically offense cards. So we're definitely like heavy on the attack side, and we're gonna we are gonna need some ways to block. Leap is not like a particularly exciting one, but it's mm -hmm. you know it shows up for work, and we can help in a three skills in a turn. Yeah, turn. which ball lightning doesn't. I mean, ball lightning is very good, but I don't know that we necessarily need two. Um, we don't have any shops coming up, do we? Uh, no, not in this path. All right. Um, we have a HP. We got two fights and an elite, which we're pretty strong against. I think we can remove a strike here. And yeah, then that leap better set us up well. So okay. these guys, every time they get to 50% or below health, yeah, they split they into. Split. So we want to try and get him like close, and then um, mm -hmm. like on the turn that we make him split, do as much damage as possible. All right. So how much damage do we have now? Then we have seven, six, thirteen, um, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen damage. That puts him at shit. Uh, yeah, 45. Gonna... <laughs> I'm not good at math. Turn, so that's fine. Definitely just throw those two out. And then that's... Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, then... So dual you want to... Yeah, but dual cast will... This will trigger his... And that'll stop the 16 attack, so... Yeah. Dual cast, cold snap, strike plus, for sure. Yeah. We don't mind them being at 14. Oh, we got another energy. I forgot dual cast, or, uh, dual cast is now, if we had upgraded, we might have been able to kill him, but he's at five times it's two, so good. we're gonna kill him now anyway. Very nice. Uh, chat says your voice is a little distorted, John. Distorted? Yeah. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what lock on is, so I'm reading the tooltip. Fifty percent more damage. I would slam that because I've never seen it before. That's Am a... I still distorted? Uh, maybe. Let me open up chat. While you're doing that, I'm gonna get another white claw. Sorry, Brett. You should apologize <laughs> to me, asshole. <laughs> this fucking guy. This fucking guy. Alright, I'm back. Got another white claw, huh? Yeah, uh, this is the lemon one. Brett said he likes this flavor. Or would like <laughs> this flavor. 
he likes white flag. They have a new uh, pretty... a new variety pack. I think you can pretty safely skip. Um, if you're taking anything, it would be bullseye. Um, bullseye is kind of okay if okay. you're doing the dark orb thing. It's yeah with our lightning, it's not super super great. Yeah, because from three it only rounds up. Does it round up or down? Uh, so it go to yeah. five or it go to four? Oh, okay, then that sucks. And um, like what our deck is doing right now is making a lot of orbs, and like that's a card that we draw that's not making an orb, which I'm not super excited about. Um, stack, it's not great now because there's just not that many cards in the oh, right. pile. So a lot of times it blocks for like. Three. Like if you draw that in your opening hand, it blocks for zero. It's fucking horrible. Mm -hmm. And then Beam Cell, um, like, would you rather be drawing a card that makes you an orb, or would you rather be drawing a zero-cost card that, like, doesn't do anything? Like, mm -hmm. we're not doing that many attacks where we care about vulnerable. That's our friend. Here's the knob. Get the two orbs down. Um, then pass, right? There's or... an argument for playing Streamline to make it cost one next time it comes through. And you probably get the frost out? Yeah. That would be... Uh, Streamline would come back minimum two turns from now. Well, it depends on... It, it's on the bottom of the deck the second time through. It could be like four turns from now. Yeah, it, but it, yeah. We're a lot happier to play it the second time through if we played it once. Right. So yeah, I think make the... Make the what do you like of these? I just want to damage race this guy and ball lightning, honestly. Like, blocking for two is not going to make a massive difference. Mm hmm. So, we can't really reasonably zap a lot because uh, this is kind of like why I wanted to get the ball lightning out, is because we want our damage up and zap raises his strength up. So, we're kind of trapped. Like, all like of these raise his right strength, here. right? Yeah, like, these are all skills, which fucking sucks. I think you just strike. Um, is there what's the math on how much his strength goes up so it goes up goes how up much damage two. it goes up by two so like you know if we blocked we would effectively be blocking seven but it's also two more damage every turn after this so leap is like pretty reasonably okay just because um, oh I also have this like, potion which would give me armor and this one that yeah. upgrades stuff which I don't want to do right now but this is the only elite we have until the end of the act, and we're not really worried about Hexaghost, so honestly, Essence of Steel, not a bad idea. Yeah, I, I don't want to get these potions moving. Gain four. Receiving unblocked um, attack damage reduces by one card. We're definitely doing this. Yeah, I think you can, um, like, you can probably cool-headed, like, the, the Frost Orb cancels out the strength gain. Yeah. For the most part. Like, and that'll give us an option to not burn to this turn. All the way to that orb, I think we're probably fine. Yeah. I would cool hit it and leap here. Like we're, Ooh, oh, hell yeah. Uh, yeah. At this point, we're just rushing him down. Do the leap and we're. Oh, I didn't leap. Trip. Shit. That's okay. Ouch. Shit. 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 Uh, um. Let's see. So strike. Six. Strike gets into eighteen. Down to fifteen from the orb. I think you cool hit uh, it again. Just to get the drill. Is the drill? No. Yeah, you used it. I, I put it back downstairs by the door. It's downstairs? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think you strike, strike, defend here. And then we kill him next turn. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take 12. Oh, 7. Yeah, 7. Now you can just do a cast. Go All away. Right, so we, took, we took a little more damage than we needed to, but I don't think it's going to be meaningful. And look, we replaced our Essence of Steel. Boot sucks. That's a bad relic. Uh, Thunderstrike, recursion. I think we take snap. another cold snap, but I'm not like mega excited about it. Just generally speaking, I would love this card if like we had more mana. <laughs> That's the yeah, problem. Yeah, like paying three for that, and it doesn't do anything at the start of a fight. Like, so you remember yeah, it's I a said dead draw Defect. often. Defect has a billion ways to be broken six turns into a fight and that's that's one of them but it's like not even close to the best version of it mm -hmm. and it doesn't do anything on turn one and like what we care about right now is turn one cards right, this stupid witch um we're gonna let's just cool headed to see what we draw 
the best card in the deck. I think Cold Snap will leave. That way we full block. Oh yeah, we do full block. The math always is weird in my head, because this does three and then this blocks two. So I'm Yeah, like we'll cast Cold Snap Strike. Just get the max damage out of our orb here. We should, like, probably... What's... I mean, you can look at our draw we'll probably be drawing 12 damage <clears throat> next turn. But then we'll take... We can take one damage, let's, or we can take... Your, uh, look at your draw pile. No. So we've got a... Nine... That's... That's... Orb, and that, uh, yeah. You can just block here. We'll kill next turn. Okay. Oh, I didn't use all the... Yeah, just defend again. Oh, okay. We won't even take the one damage. Oh, and that did five. I forgot. Yeah, from the letter opener. I forgot all about that. Cultist potion is really nice. I don't know That's what a ritual the, is. That so it's like the um the bird cultist guys where they gain one strength every turn. <laughs> uh okay. Strength at the start of your turn. End of your turn. Um, Scam, streamline, auto Look at our deck. 5, 8, 8. Oh, we have two upgraded defense? Nice. Yeah. We actually we're have a good block right now. Auto shields. auto shields is not a great card. Like, it'll kind of serve our purposes right now. But, that, like, it doesn't do anything if we played any other block cards. And, like, if we get any, um, any, like, innate block, block for yeah. us, any any other effects that are like generating block midway through like if we're evoking a frost orb in the middle of the turn like auto shields doesn't do anything after that right so it like, can be kind of dead kind of help right now but i think honestly we're fine against hexagos without it so i think you can just skip all of this that's reasonable uh do you have a preference on left or right <laughs> left nice uh, upgrade. so hexagos his first big attack its damage is based on your current hp so 32 is more than enough. Oh, okay, I didn't... If we rested for more, he would just make his first attack do more. Um, Nine damage. If you're going to upgrade damage. a damage card... Probably the I think draw or ball lightning. You could upgrade the zap for... Uh, for free. Down to zero. Like, I'd probably favor that, to, to be honest. To play the streamline. And it's more relevant, like as the run, as the game continues. Like we're 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 trying to build the deck in a direction that doesn't really care that much about streamline. So I feel like aside from the strikes, like the zap is our weakest card, and we should upgrade that to make it free. So it's like yeah. it lets us spend, it lets us I, do I more in a turn. I think upgrading streamline or zap are both about the same level of good right now. Okay. Uh, gun to your head, which one? Uh, I would probably do zap, but I think. Either one I con fine. I concur. Um, and there you go. We're gonna get paid off immediately. Yeah. We can do uh not everything. We can't do, but we should just do these four, right? Yeah. Well, there's no point in defending. We're not getting attacked. All right, 18 coming in. So we can definitely dual cast. Sweet. So if we cold snap and streamline, we're taking 14 and going to 18. We can do another plated armor to save yeah. some. So the way that this fight works, this is the scariest turn for a while. He's gonna start slowly igniting those little flames and not doing a whole lot of damage. He's just putting burns in. Oh, okay. So, like, even though if we just, like, cold snap streamline okay. and pass the turn, even though we go to 14, that's not, like, as scary as it sounds. We could also throw this armor down. Um, so that would that would leave us at 18. We're at, we are getting hit six times, though, which means the plated armor stacks are going to go away. So if we're going to play that, oh. we're going to play it next turn. Okay. I didn't know that was how that worked. Yeah. I think just cold strap streamline. This plated armor will like pretty much ignore almost all of his damage at this point if you want to play it. But um, I mean, 
I think we can just manage with crossbars and probably save the potion. Then oh, we just make I already it. did it. I, I like to leave. I like to burn at least a potion. Like That's fine. leave open spots here. So now we can be pretty aggro too. I'd um, cool headed and find a card. We'll get an evoke out of the orb. Draw towards well, more orbs. That was kind of maybe um, the one card we didn't want to draw. Evoke the frost right now. I just play the two strike. Yeah. So, Looks like we're defending. Yeah, I mean, zap cold snap and then play the thin. We got enough block, I think. We certainly do. But now this is. Yeah, now, like, the second time through the deck, nice. Streamline actually becomes a playable card. Uh, Ball Lightning, Streamline. We have a lot going on here. We'll yeah. get more than enough block out of it. Keep churning the orbs, man. We're trying to kill him before he lights up, so we want right. to lightning as much as we possibly can. Um, we might our, just our die. Our will go up before the damage from the burn does, so you can just oh, okay. all out attack. John, what happens when he lights up? Uh, he does another one of those big attacks like he did that first turn he woke up, and then it makes the burns in our deck start to do more damage. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we're blocking again. I guess we're blocking. Good news is that did five damage. Good news is we have lightning orbs. Uh, so, can I? Um, I can. Here's what you can do: you can play right. cool headed to get a frost orb in the back. Now play the ball lightning to push an orb to the front, and now dual cast to get the lightning invoke. And then we can and just do another uh, frost. Snap again. Yeah. There you go. That's the kind of stuff I like try to do with this deck, but I never actually figure it out. Oh, that's. 24 so damage. a lot of damage coming in. We didn't, unfortunately, quite... We had a couple of turns there where, like, we only drew blocks. Just yeah. To get us there. Um, so if we cold snap, that will... Channel of... The orb once. So that'll be five. 5 block, plus 9 from the orbs, plus 4 from the plated armor. It gets us 13. Um, the defend plus is for 8, so that's to 21. This puts us at no damage. Yeah. Or you could strike and get him closer to dead. I don't. I think it's we're on. As long as we don't draw the burn. So you're gonna get a full heal anyway. I would yeah. Probably just strike and get him closer to dead. Oh, I forgot about the fire, but okay. Are we gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, he's dead to the streamline. There it is. Okay. I was a little worried there, man. Uh, I, no, I forgot to calculate for the, the fire in the hand. Oh, you have a sweat and bullet over here. This is a bit of a whiff, unfortunately. We were really looking for something better than any of these. Um, so... I would slam rainbow, probably. But That's probably what we end up taking, but we're not happy about it. Amplifying, like, it literally doesn't do anything if you don't have other powers. And so... Like, if we had something like Seek Plus where we can go grab two cards out of our draw pile, so like we can grab that and a power we really care about, then it's pretty good, but it's like mm. trash right now. Buffer is great in Act 3, but Act 2 has so many multi hit enemies where, like, you know, like, yeah, it has the birds, the, the we're birds. Gonna play right at the start, or like one times six. So if you're going to play two energy, you're going to block one damage. Like, it's terrible. Rainbow is not good, but it's probably the best of the three cards right now, which is tragic. It gets us a Dark Orb, and if our Act 2 Elite boss is um, the champ, like Dark is really good against him. Uh, these are some fucking terrible relics, too. Um, I think we, we, we burned all that luck on our, uh, on our silent run last week. We sure did. This is a bad start. I think we take Philosopher's Stone just... It's so it's such a bad relic though. Like going into Act Two, like all of those birds that hit for one times six are now hitting for two times six. So like yeah, massively increasing their damage output. But if if I were doing this myself, I would probably do Empty Cage. This makes me scared, but we do have a lot of block. Fortunately, 
All right. Uh, you only you only live uh, once. Really, like, yeah, the birds are like the worst one, but like there's so many enemies that multi attack in Act Two. So like the the avocado multi attacks, the the um, <laughs> acolyte one attack like attacks multiple times. Book of stabbing attacks like five times a whole bunch. The mm. um like there's there's just so many. Oh yeah, the book of stabbing. That's true. We actually could just dodge an elite if needed, but I think we need the power. Yeah, we're way behind after whipping that Act 1 and stuff. I think we have to push. Here's the two elite. We have a ton of money, though. We want to hit that shop for sure. This one? Sure. Yeah, uh, and I don't think we want to hit fights that badly either. I would we can go this way? Through two. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's your friend. Uh, we might literally just die here. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I would definitely slam the... Hold on, what's our Act boss again? Uh, the map. I think it was the collector. Two balls. I don't know yeah. what the, those mean yet. So I really hate to waste a cultist potion here, but like we literally might just die to this fight. I think we have to slam that and try to get some more damage out here. We can also just upgrade these cards. All that's doing is upgrading cold snap for three more. Oh yeah, that, oh, the, these three are already upgraded. Like, it's not yeah. super good right here. Yeah, these are all upgraded. I would just play the the cultist potion and be sad. Alright, I'll see what this does. I'm a I'm a cultist. Okay. Um well first of all let's dual cast. Fortunately lightning does full damage. These guys take less damage from physical. Um, uh, okay. so we can block for sixteen that's get up to eighteen from cold snap. Not enough yet. But um I would just defend, defend Rainbow, I think. And we're going to take 14 here, unfortunately. Yeah, ow, by the way. Ow. Well, uh, well, strike, well, streamline. Um, Second okay, strike kills so here. If we or... hit any of them three times, it will knock them out of the air. So... If we do that, we're still looking at 20 damage coming in, which is the, the problem. Um, can't we kill... We can kill two of them. You can streamline the one in the middle, and then leaf defend. And that will block a C, so that would be 14, 16 after the frost orb. I'm pretty sure we can kill two of them. Like, these two are dead, right? Which two? The front one and the middle one. What are He's you at... playing to kill the front one? Uh, you can do... Oh, their damage, the damage is reduced because they're flying. It's not... Oh, 50% less attack damage. I think you okay. want to streamline the middle one and then leap and defend. We take four that way and then try and kill one of the next ones. Yeah, okay. So this kills him. Yeah, now we only take four. I feel dumb because I don't Definitely understand that. Definitely wall lightning and zap. Let me get this uh, revoking. Going. Uh, order doesn't really matter, right? I think. Um, well, those two are going to give us. Light. And should we target the one attacking? Let's I don't know what his see. buff is. We don't have a third attack, but we might draw one off cool headed. So yeah, I would target the one in the back. Should we cool headed we first? Wall lightning and strike it, and then we draw an attack off cool headed. We can knock it out of the air. Oh okay. Should we call it first though? Orbs in front though, so ball lightning, zap, strike. Oh, okay. Cool headed. That way, let the lightning orbs out in front and close your evoking. Well, the dark orb hit him anyway. I was hoping it hit the other one. Uh, just full snap. All right, he's dead to the lightning orb. So, I mean, all things considered, that could have definitely gone worse. That's true. And we got another potion. Not the ritual potion, though. Uh... Oh, you're right. Darkest Dark Orb always hits the opponent with the lowest HP. Oh, really? I've I... played this game for like 400 hours, and I didn't know that. You know, it says it right there. <laughs> okay, do you have any idea how long it's been since I read <laughs> That's fair. You're probably not wrong. That's fair. Uh, how good is the pool of random powers? Like, 
so I don't think we don't need another cold snap. We have plenty of those already. If we were facing champ, I'd be a lot more happy about doom and gloom. It still might be better than white noise. <laughs> white noise can definitely bail us. Like if it just gives us a creative eye or something. AI, yeah, you you can hit. Like, it can definitely bail us in a fight, but it also could do nothing. Right. We do have a dark orb source already with rainbow. I don't know. Uh, do you need many dark orbs? Is... Yeah, you said AOE was an issue. Yeah, a little relevant in this act. And we have more mana to work with now, too. Uh, like, if we're facing Gremlin later, Doom and Gloom is nice to have. I think we take Doom and Gloom, yeah. Electrodynamics from White Noise would be hella nice. Uh, should I get Jaxed? No, we're not really doing a lot with physical attacks. I think you want to transform two cards, transform two of your strikes, and hopefully hit something good. Uh, what is a special relic? So you oh, start and then lose strength. Okay, yeah. Although, hold on, let's think about this. Well, too late. Too late now. Well, we ended up getting, like, a decent attack from one of them anyway. What I was thinking about, I think overall those are definitely an improvement. What I was thinking about is, like, if we see the any of the birds again. Like, there's a bird plus um, cultist encounter. Mm -hmm. that, um, like, having strike to knock him out of the air is somewhat relevant. But I think we overall trade it up. Yeah, I think so too. Um, okay, so... I guess we're losing 6 HP. Yeah, the thing about this event is that, like, if you pick something, you have to, like, you, eventually you have to pick the lose 6 HP for leaving. So, like, it's not just p pick one of them uh, and you're done. Like, okay. it'll make you pick again. Um, we don't need gold, really, really. Shops. I think the shop's next. Yeah, the shop's next. Yeah. You could click the 90 gold one once and then leave. And we go to 54. How far away is our next campfire? Not that far. We can even avoid that fight. Scroll up, I want to look at the rest of the elites. The only other elite is this one. Yeah, so, I mean, we're wanting to bypass that one on the right anyway. We still get two. Yeah, 180, 180 gold is nice. Well, it's for 18 HP, though, because we do have to leave also. So that puts us at 48. Yeah. I think we probably rest. Well, we get two campfires there. And we do a campfire and another campfire already. immediately. So that's, I mean, that's, that'll let us basically buy, like, anything we want. Yeah, we'll we'll have full I reign at the shop. at least once. I think there's definitely an argument for twice. I, gold is raining down. Uh, we only, oh, and then it's 7 we HP. Do, you know, like, okay. That HP isn't going to save us. Like, our deck is behind, so... Yeah, click it again, and hope this shot bails us. Yeah, I mean, YOLO. We really need to see some good cards and relics here. Well, Defragment is real good. So is Oracalcum. Um, Oracalcum is really, really good with Frost, because the Frost triggering... Happens, happens after, after. That, so you yeah. can both get the frost uh, block and the oracle block. You know, no cards in your hand during your turn. Draw a card. That'll never happen. We don't. Yeah, we're not really the kind of deck that plays that. Well, we definitely want to do fragment. Uh, one sec. Okay, so we're getting the aura chalkium for sure. Uh, not well. We're definitely getting into fragment. Okay. Yeah. The the Aura Calcum is like it's not saving us, but like what else are we spending any money on in this store? Like none of the rest of this shit helps us. Right. Maybe get rid of one of the upgrade potions and buy the power potion for sure. Cause that can help bail us in a in an elite fight. Uh, sell one elite? Can you? Oh, just, you just, you just, just discard, discard it. it. Okay. Power potion. Um, any argument for turbo now? Although, actually, we're not having trouble spending through what we need to do in our hand. Uh, we can... Abacus isn't bad, too, right? Um, I, I mean, mean, it's, it's not super useful, but it'll be... Every four-ish turns. Yeah. 
And like it's gonna only get worse as we go on as the deck gets bigger. Right. It's okay. I mean, but I feel like we just need some kind of power spike. Removing? What are we taking out? Let's look at the deck. I mean, I guess we get rid of the strike plus if we do it. Yeah. Unless you somehow value that over a regular defend. But. If we're buying Oracle and we get rid of a defend, like that's that's a hundred percent for sure. Yeah. So it kind of depends on what we're doing with the relic. I think we need an upgrade of some kind here. Cause... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, even if we buy those and then that question mark is also a store, we still have a good bit of money. That's true. So I don't know. Let's get the Oracle and remove a defend. All right. I'm not feeling very good about this deck. We have not been offered a lot of good stuff. We found the avocado. We sure did. Um, okay, so we'll definitely... Well, I mean, you can just play your whole hand. Um, oh yeah, you can. Just think, is there any reason we would want... Yeah, I think we want the lightning orb in front to be ready to evoke before we want to con evoke the, uh, the cold snap. And we want to focus first, right? Uh, I mean, you just want to do it before you evoke an orb. So, yeah, zap, snap, snap. Um, yeah, that ends up being better. So, like, we don't want to play any basic defense because that prevents the, um, the Oracalcum from going off. So, like, yeah, and that's playing six. a five block to, and it cancels out a six block, but leaves defense for nine, so, like, it's still a net benefit. Um... <clears throat> so, like, this turn could be Doom and Gloom, Rip and Tear, Strike, and that doesn't give us any defense. I kind of like Cool Headed to see another card, although that does... That means if we channel, then we get a block. Yeah, which, I mean, if we do, it's okay. Yeah. We would still be full blocking off of the Frost Evoking. We got Streamline. So that actually makes it easier. Um, yeah, I think now streamline and rip and tear. If we wanted to, as long as we get a lot of hits off, it'll break down that um, that plated armor. Yeah. Okay, so we got a weird hand here. now. Um, Could just so rainbow. Rainbow, rainbow first, and then dual cast to evoke the lightning, and then. Ball lightning again. Get another or lightning. Dip. Might as well just play the l the rest, right? I mean, uh, I mean we're full. This this lowers there. this, so we're, we're good. Okay, we kill him. I think. Yeah, just rip and tear. Yeah. Okay. Dexterity could be useful. Is that better than the weak potion? Or the blessing potion, probably? No, I don't think so. Um, maybe better than the upgrade potion. Look, look at our deck again. We need to see how many are upgraded. Okay. Yeah, as soon as we're done here. Um, upgrading defragment is actually really good. So I would think I would just pass the dex potion. Garage Can we see plus. a good fucking card? God damn. Um, I would just skip here. Like, we already have a Steam Barrier. Bullseye, I don't know. It's kind of okay with the Dark Orbs, but it's just another card we're drawing that's not making orbs. Yeah, Barrage it's is a card passive. that's, like, good in a deck that's already good. Because if you're channeling a lot of orbs to make it... Like, if you're if you're making a lot of orbs to make Barrage good, you have a lot of orbs. Like, mm -hmm. so your deck is already doing a strong thing. Go this way? Yeah. Because we're still hitting two elites that way, and we get a campfire now. Um, I would upgrade probably the um, uh, defragment. Oh yeah, two focus instead of one. That's very good. Cults. All right, this is a very scary elite. Um, well, let's think about this. I think we're going to want a potion here. I would play the power potion and see if we get something that bails us. 
Uh, I think it's got to be creative AI here. Bias Cog gets us a lot of focus. Well, how? Hmm, I don't know. Bias Cog actually might win the fight for us. Let me think here. Well, because we get the dark going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we can immediately AI generate a ton of orbs. A little bit too slow. We're gonna take a shitload of damage. I think. And these aren't free. Just the first one is. Right. I think. I think bias cog. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And I think you just like that, rainbow, like right? Ball yeah. Lightning. Yeah. Um. So target the ball lightning on the guy on the back when you do. Do you do that first, or do you do this first? Does it matter? Not really. Not really. Ball lightning guy in the back. Uh, we can go ahead and cool headed. And then, uh, team barrier. Alright. Uh, dual cast this. So that'll hit twice for 16. If we. Get lucky, it'll kill one of them. If we're unlucky, it won't. We'll just. It always hits the guy with the lowest it. HP. It'll kill this guy. Oh god, I keep forgetting Dark Horse <laughs> to do that. Uh, so yeah, I mean we we definitely do want to do that. Um, yeah, we need to kill him. Yeah, and then we can like cold snap leap to full block. Yeah. I mean, you can just play the rest of your hand now. Yeah. Let's do this and this. And those were good those were good attacks too, so okay, this is going yeah. fine now. Yeah, the bias cognition definitely ended up being the right choice. Like creative eye AI maybe did stronger things, but like too slowly. Uh defragment for sure. And then yeah, cold snap to uh get Do I wanna do that here and see if it bounces here? Oh, I looked at the strike screen right now. Uh, I think you streamline the front guy to kill him, and then you cold snap so that the lightning evoking goes on the big guy. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Oh, what? A, I thought I hit intern. Okay, we're fine. Not to play whatever. Uh, can I kill him? There it is. Blood vial is actually not irrelevant here. It's not a great relic, but. Since our deck's struggling a little bit, a little bit extra healing is not bad. Um, we already have a Doom and Gloom. I don't think we want either of these others. I think you just skip. I tend to concur. 38 HP. How long are we going until our next heal? Uh, three, uh, including an only... Fights. We do have the Blood Vial, which will help a little bit. Let's look at what we're upgrading if we upgrade. Let's, let's see the deck. Uh, uh, I don't know what upgrading rainbow does. You can actually click on it and um, select view upgrade. Oh, okay. And it'll tell you. Oh, no exhaust, so you can just keep doing it. I mean, that's not irrelevant in our deck. Like, we need something vaguely strong to do, and that, mm -hmm. that's probably like the strongest thing we're doing right now. Which is sad. So maybe upgrade rainbow. Yeah, I, I lean towards that too. Alright, left one? Yeah. Cool. Five cards in your deck, heal three HP when you're in a rest site. That's. Sure. Sure, if you say so. Stabby boy. Well, this... well, we're definitely defragmenting. Um, I think we probably we need to kill this guy before he scales up too much. So I think we need to get streamline going. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we streamline ball lightning and just we can we'll, weak him too. Go off and we'll take eight. But I think we need to get the stuff. Like I don't think we can let this fight go long. I think we have to race him. Yeah, I agree. We can weaken him too to just stop him a little bit. Last three turns. Um, 
I'd probably wait one more turn. We're only taking six right now. And he, like, continually gets stronger and stronger as it goes along. So oh, okay. So he's hitting, like, three more relevant turns. Yeah. Well, this is a race card. You're gonna play the race card, is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Are you allowed to do that? I, I only I only just realized what I said out loud. <laughs> I was like, Tom. Uh, get the dual cast off on the lightning while you can. Okay. Um, yeah, and I think Rainbow... Um, I don't know that you necessarily want two Dark Lords at the same time, so maybe, maybe Rip and Tear. I mean, that's 14 damage, that's pretty solid. Mm-hmm. We don't even need to use a Steam Bearer. No, because we're getting the Aura Caldrum. I think you can go ahead and throw the Weak Potion now, though. Yeah, that prevents a lot of damage. <sighs> channel of Frost, Channel of Frost. What we draw. That's pretty oh, good, right? Yeah, and that will full heal past them. And there's the streamline, and there's the rip and tear, and that sh should almost yeah, do it. Plus the yeah, plus snap. these. Zap on the cold snap is enough. Yeah. Bird face turn is nice. That's a little sustain. I don't know how many power cards we have. I don't think we have any. I could use some more. I would like more defragment. Oh, we have the the one defragment. Okay, so there's an argument to be made for both boost sequence and chill here. Um, chill is going to be really nice in the collector fight because he starts with two minions, so that's three frost orbs right off the bat. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we're we're in trouble in the collector fight right now, so I'm le leaning towards chill for sure. Boost sequence helps us get through a lot of those like hallway fight first turns, but. Um, Chill gives us quite a bit of frost as well, and it can be upgraded to become innate as well. Yeah, you don't like Blizzard? Um, I mean, so Blizzard is a definitely a like avenue we can go down, but it's another. It's a card that's good, like five or six turns into the fight, like and maybe yeah. even plus into the fight. And I'm really concerned about getting to turn ten right now. So I like to chill for that. That's true. I think this is better just turn one. Yeah. Like, if we're making a lot of frost to make Blizzard good, we're already, you know, making a lot of frost, which is just good on its own. Right. Like, uh, like if we could take both of these, then we'd be cooking, but we can't. Yeah, I mean, if I could take both, I would take both, but I think I would rather have chill here. Huh. Also exhaust, so it just kind of gets out of the way. And we can go, we can actually, oh, there's like, both of these paths well, we're have two. Several campfires. We're upgrading chill to make it innate for the collector fight. Yeah, so this will give me two frosts. Now. Uh, we can actually play this whole hand. Yeah, I would dual cast first. Then put this in front. Yeah, because you're going to want the lightning to evoke first, I think. And we want to hit the mystic, right? She's the priority. Um, generally, you want to go for the centurion first, because he puts a lot of block on her and can make her quite a bit more difficult to kill. The fact that all of the lightning did go on her makes it is a little unfortunate. But I think, I just like in general, we want to be going for the centurion. And yeah, there's no point in blocking her. I think rainbow, cold snap, cold snap. This gives us plenty of, of block, though. Yeah, I, I'm very concerned about our collector fight. We just really have seen very, very few good cards this run. Um, let's see. Oh, we just gotta dump whatever damage we can get. There's no point in blocking, we're not getting attacked. Well, we could- oh, we're not getting attacked, that's true. We 
we've seen like n almost no focus, no extra orb slots, like no good huge back moves. Like yeah, mm -hmm. I'm really struggling here. Defragment, ball lightning, rainbow. And really hope that that lightning hits the centurion. Rip. Of course Maybe not. Dead, but it would have been nice to kill him. Yeah, but now we can kill him. So. Yeah, just, just play whatever. And you just dual cast. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. That will do it. Um, static discharge might actually be our out here. That's gonna generate us a lot of lightning in the collector fight, which I it's it probably isn't enough, but it's giving us a like a slim ray of hope here. And it's another power for bird face turn. Yeah, that'll give us um, heal. I think we probably rest. Oh, we also healed from uh, this. Look at the map real quick. Um, we have a question mark and a fight. We can make it through that on 28. Let's upgrade the um, chill to get it in 8. Although, actually, can you double check? Just make, let, let me make sure I'm remembering the upgrade on static discharge, right? Can you oh. double check what that is? Yeah, where is it? Static discharge. Two lightning. Two lightning. I don't know. That might be better. We're really struggling to do enough damage to kill Collector. I think there's a pretty strong argument for discharge, stat static discharge being the upgrade. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I mean, we, we do have a good number of other cross orb sources to hopefully get through the first couple of turns. And then go for the question mark. Yeah. Oh, we can totally remove a card from the deck, right? What are we taking? The last Another strike? Take, take out the unupgraded defense. Oh, it's okay. literally worthless. Rainbow, cold snap, ball lightning. Target the sentry? Yeah, we want to go for the sentry first. Yeah. So before it fills our deck up with phases and stuff. Right. Despite the three enemies, they all hit with chunky One, attacks. Um, yeah. Okay, so we can channel this and just keep on so keeping on. Onto him, and then we can also get another dark in the pool. Yeah, I think we're doing that because we need to break through a lot of block here. So we're definitely doom and glooming. And I'll finish off this sentinel. Kills him. Um, we can... Get some yeah, frost in the pool too. Yeah, I think we can cool headed for sure. Just to like look at the... Look at another card. I don't think we want to use the zap though. Because we want to ch like get this yeah, building. Yeah, I think we just want to let the dark pick, pick up a little bit. Well, now that's not as good as Cold Snap. Yeah. A lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh. And we have no blocks in hand. Um. Oh, shit. If we... Oh, no, we only upgrade these. But if that's more damage, can we one-shot them, maybe? If we upgrade... If we streamline plus rip and tear, that puts him to 24 effective HP. When If we also static discharge, then the first time he hits us... Dual cast does 22 as well. Or 24. Yeah, I think... We have a lot of damage. Go dual cast to get as much of the shield down as we can. So dual cast, streamline, rip and tear, static discharge. We'll take 11... Oh, I can't math. We can just, yeah, I was, like, I was like, I was like, I think we kill him, right? That's a good potion. Um, uh, we might be taking hologram here, just to grab something back out of the discard pile. It's pretty nice. 
That's gonna be like pretty good with streamline. And now we're at 37. Uh, I think we have to rest. Like we're we're definitely dead on 37. And unfortunately, we never got a chance to upgrade the chill, so we're just gonna hope that the chill is worth it. Yep. Uh, we want to play it on turn two anyway, so like we don't. Just throw stuff, right? In the opening hand, now that you've got it. Uh, streamline. And like these are worthless. Yeah. I was actually gonna say hologram and streamline again, but uh, uh, we didn't have enough energy at that point. It's all right. I didn't even think of that play. Well, there's your chill. Yeah, definitely. Let's. Um, I and think we got we got power. Play this whole hand. Hmm? You can play this whole hand. Yeah. Um, let's rainbow first. And that way we'll have a lot of frost to help because he's going to be getting us real hard here shortly. Uh, do we want to dual cast one of these? No. Right? Um, I mean, we don't oh, we can grab it like, next turn. Really off of chill anyway, so you might as well get two uses out of one of them. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, 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 dual cast first. Oh, dual cast first. Okay. And that little AoE that I always forget about. Um, Okay. Um, we can definitely be fragment here. We've, we've got the full block up at least. Uh, ball, lightning. Definitely. You want to channel again and draw? Yeah, we're cool headed and see what we draw. Okay, ball Probably just do this. Guy. Yeah. Uh, he's actually going to die to the. Well, oh, well, no, that's. Die to the lightning, yeah, but... That wasn't guaranteed. We were full blocking. Now, it's right in time for him to summon one. Alright, so we're definitely static discharging this turn. Um, let's see. We don't have anything on discard pile, so... Uh, That's we're right. Not gonna do anything. I guess we'll see what Rift and Tear hit. Um, Cold Snap, the one with 26. Then Defend. Which is actually really good because it's going to trigger two lightning. Like taking one damage is super optimal. Let's throw the strike on the one with twenty. Oh, because it'll it'll invoke this, right? Yeah, the uh, static discharge is going to go off. Ow. Okay, streamlines back, rainbows back. Um, let's see. You can rainbow first and see what the lightning invoked hit. Right. So we're blocking for 11 right now. We have the cool headed is effectively another 4. So that gets and we do another 10. I kind of want to get the cool headed out, right? Yeah. And we want to keep this streamline going. Um, streamline oh, we have 33 coming in. What's in the discard pile? Another rainbow. Could liquid memories for another rainbow. That'll evoke, let's see, so the lightning would evoke. And then we get a decent amount of block out of the frost. And then the six would go on to the little guy down to 22. And we get a new set. That might not be a bad player. How much is the streamline doing right now? Oh, 11. Because we're weakened. weakened. We can't kill this guy guaranteed. It's, it's gonna depend on what the lightning hits. I mean, I think probably go ahead and do it. I should probably move my out of here. I should boot my webcam up to this corner. Sorry. That's probably way like better. Memories, the rainbow. Yeah. Um, we're even still short. Man, that's like it's pretty exciting. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, excuse me. Cool-headed. We're, we're definitely playing cool-headed. Unfortunately, didn't hit. <sighs> well, but we can dual-cast the Frost. Streamline does kill him now. 
And Streamline did do that, okay. And this prevents a ton of damage. Hold on, let me think here. It's blocking for 22 right now. If you dual cast, that's up to 32. And then we get two lightning out of the one damage we're taking. Yeah, that's, that's really good. No, 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 ow, shit. Oh, I forgot about that. Shit. I did my math wrong, and he's gonna... Okay, so we gotta dump everything, right? Oh, we can get a card back. Um, what's in the discard pile? Streamline's free. Uh, Rainbow again. Mm. Let's see, we've got two energy to spend on damage right now. Yeah, just hitting Streamline back might not be terrible. Yeah, it'd be Streamline or maybe Dual Cast again. Dual Cast would be a ton. Yeah, that would be more than, uh, yeah. more than the Streamline is, that's for sure. Sure, let's do that. That's, that's good. And then we just play the rest, right? Throw down the rest. Oh, he has a lot of fucking... That's a lot of damage. We'll head and see what we draw. A block. So we can block for... Um, this is free. So we're down... We're, uh, we got 14 blocks by default. If we play the leap and defend, where are they at right now? The leap and the defense. Six, six. Or we can add a dark, and then take 22, Might be a losing 23. Just trying to keep blocking, so maybe doom and gloom, rip and tear. And then we'll get some lightning out of this damage we're about to take, which is going to be a lot, but... Right, yeah, we're at, oh, we're at 40. We're actually f fine, I think. Because we can channel... Okay, we're, we're fine. Because we can channel through all hands, yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Because it's going to channel and it's gonna channel another lightning at his face. And now we have a rainbow. I think we got it. Somehow win this fight. Um, did I F this up? No. Okay, sweet. Chomps up. This deck should not be winning any fights. <laughs> no question, man. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's... This is the worst run of all time. These cards suck. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna work until it stops working, and then it's gonna work until it stops working. That is my mantra in this fucking game. Um, <laughs> machine man. Actually, like this is terrible. Don, believe in yourself. Just for more options. <laughs> Or... The problem is not card draw; it's that none of the cards we draw are any good. <laughs> yeah, like there's a... might have to take thunderstrike just to have a thing that does a powerful thing. Of that, that synergizes with our power that generates thunders. So I like that. Yeah, I think we take thunderstrike. Like this is a terrible win condition. Uh, inserter, like win will slam that shit. We need the extra right. orb slots so badly. John, remember when you used Perlite Ancient in your blue white control deck, and everyone said it was a terrible finisher? That was a terrible finisher. But well, you won with it. So it's the same that way. This is this is Thomas Pearl like ancient. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this is all those yeah, this is all those turbo fog decks that were janky as fuck that I built in college. So there are two floor two stores here, which we're gonna want to hit one of those. Uh, here and here. Okay, so one of these two. Yeah. I'm gonna take like a one minute break to run to the bathroom. So be right back, guys. Yeah. Yeah, John, I was, I was on Tom earlier. I was like, the fact that there's only five characters now means they'll probably have better characterization because maybe, like, since there's five girls, they won't all be one note. You're 
I'm seriously trying to argue to me right now that a new season of Love Live is not just going to have five girls whose defining personality trait is lesbian. Uh, yes. Maybe. If you say so. <laughs> hey, man, it could be good. Who knows? I'm not saying it will be because I'm not going to fucking watch it, but I'm just saying it could be. This garbage run is almost over. Watch you guys finish it. <laughs> if this, I know, man. If this deck wins, like, I don't know who I'm gonna be miss more disappointed in, like us or Slay the Spire. Uh, to, okay, to be fair, this is at non ascension. If this was, if this deck was at like any reasonably high ascension, we would have died a very long time ago. Yeah, like, this deck has, like, no synergy whatsoever. It's just, like, it's... cards. Yeah. Well, a lot of defect decks are just cards, but, like, they're better cards than this. Okay. Fair. Maybe I should also be drinking. <sighs> Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. Are you drinking our White Claw? Oh, yeah, this one is Tangerine. This fucking guy. It's yummy. Okay, so your base right, this door's gonna bail us. I think you go this way and then that way you have a campfire before the guy. Right? How is many that the right call? Getting on that path? I see two camp so we got a store, I see two campfires, an elite. Although we can't it's just one elite. If we go if we go the left we have to be. If we get the second campfire we can't get to the second elite. Scroll down, let me look at that path on the right. So that one on the right, it's, if we want to campfire, we bypass that elite. Uh, well, we just want to have to keep scrolling up. And you gotta that's find another one, guy. That's only one campfire with two elites. I don't know. This way is the safest way, is on the left. And there's three question marks. Yeah. <clears throat> is there a second store on that path? No, you have to go this way. Okay. I think this is the only um, second store. I think we might have to take that right-hand path, even without the campfires. Like, we need the power from those two elites. And then this we one? Have to keep storage that way as well. Yeah. Like, it might kill us, but I don't think we need Johnny and Deco with this deck. There's our Thunder Strike that we're not going to cast. Not, certainly not right now. Um... What, Zap, Rainbow, Cold Snap, Chill? Yeah, play everything that's not Thunder Strike. Oh, one goes each way. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. 55. Uh, so we can block with Leap and Defend. And then honestly, I think I would just play the Streamline to get the cost down. Yeah, this full blocks. You might be right, Han. I don't know. That's a good point. Can we kill him? Um, so if this we... is 16 plus 18. 8 plus 6. That's... Check, our, check our discard pile real quick. If we have... I can't remember if dual cast is in there or not. It's not. Zap is. If we do Cold Snap, Ball, Lightning, Strike, I think it kills him, because we have 18 coming in, too. Yay, math. Strength Potion is good. Um, There's Claw. Let's skip here. None of this is what we're looking for. Okay. We're going to reach channel 1. I guess we could have maybe taken Barrage. Um, can you get negative focus? You can, yes. You can go to, well, not negative, but you can go to the point where your orbs aren't doing anything. We might want to buy 
hmm. question card just to give ourselves a better chance of seeing something. Like, what we're really looking for is like more focus or like something that does something really dumb, which none of this is that. Would we remove anything? Remove another defend, but those do block for more than the uh, Bardic Talcum does, so I don't think we care about that that much. Move the strike? Or the streamline. That's been useful enough. It's been okay. It's, uh, I mean, it's two energy the first time through the deck. And I think our win condition right now is like static discharge mostly, and then the lightning thing. I don't think we're winning by doing 15 damage at a time, you know? Yeah, we could upgrade all our cards. All, all of our relevant cards are already upgraded. Um, Shut up. I think we'd probably just grab the question card, just so we see more cards, and then leave. Yeah. Not a great shop. But, I mean, why would anything in this run ever be good? That's true. Oh, now really chill's useful. Here. Look I at that. The value chill here for sure. Give me that. Two fragments. Probably so ball lightning one. something. Yeah. And streamline. Yes, because Oracle will get us eight key blocks, so we'll just take one. Where are we attacking here? The 49 is blocking. Um, on, like, you have to pretty much kill them all around the same time anyway. So. Oh, okay. Just go with them, because they regenerate themselves back to life. Yeah, oh, it's this fight, you're right. Strength, next card played twice. Doesn't matter, we almost full block. <sighs> uh, Doom and Gloom is nice here for the AoE. Probably Doom and Gloom and Cold Snap. And we're full blocking, so you can just throw a strike down. This gets them all pretty close. That's damage, but we have rainbow. And zap and that static. Um, check the discard. Let's see what we got. We haven't seen a single fucking glacier this run either. Like there's so many good cards that Deepak has that are not in this deck. <laughs> we could grab a Doom and Gloom again, but it won't be free. Right. So that's basically all of our energy. Um I think we static discharge. We also can cast a card twice, and we probably should clear a potion slot. Yeah, you could duplication potion rainbow. Yeah, I... no reinforced body, no biased cognition. I like this because it's R and Jesus. Uh, All right, static discharge. So we're blocking for twenty-two. You can zap and cold snap. Um. This kills it. And then the yeah, the lightnings cool. have to target him. Yeah. And we have another turn to get 25 damage, so. And that's. So we got 14 off rip and tear, and then the dual cast is the rest. Sweet. Um, X lightning. Yeah, or Barrage. Now that we have the Inserter, that does get up. There's a point where it starts doing 40 damage for one energy, which, I mean, it's... I'm not in love with it. Wait, how do you do 40 damage with it? Um, for, for all the orbs that you have channeled right now, it does 4 damage, so if your Inserter gets you... Channeled is when you, when you it's when spend it's them. You. Oh, when it's orbiting you. Okay, so that's like 20 if we get to 5. Yeah. Like that, that'll fairly reliably do, be quickly doing like 20 plus damage, so it's okay. I think you can also just skip here. I'll take the barrage. That seems alright. It'll be good like if we fight Reptomancer. Okay, so. This hand is lame. Yeah, um, just get... Get the orbs down. Yeah. Um, probably should just use the block, right? Yeah, that blocks for a little more for us. Unfortunately, we ended up making him do a much scarier attack. 
Um, None of those are good. This is not really what we're looking for either. You could just leave the pass. Wait till we get our like actual scaling stuff going. Oh, because every time you attack him, he changes his he might his go intent. Into a much worse attack, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's the defragment and static discharge. Um. Before you play that, well, too late now. Uh, Sorry. Get him with cold snap, so we can get him off of the debuff. It puts a curse in our deck. Okay, let's hit him again. We don't want that. That's a lot of damage. That's better. That's better. All right, we full block that. That is way better than what was it like? Forty damage? A lot. I want to cry. Lot. Okay. Okay, we can get this twenty-six out too this turn. So start with the cold. Might as well just let that tick up though. Is the thing. Let what tick up? The dark orb. Let it grow until. Oh. We can dual cast it to kill this guy in one go. Oh, you're right. Um, Let's cool headed to get another frost orb in our lineup here. Well, there's the dual cast. It doesn't kill yet. That's though. 52. We're blocking for 22 right now. Uh, we do have. We're gonna so recycle the. Can we evoke as soon as static discharge goes off though? So I think you just dual cast and get the 52 out. Dual cast so that the dark orb goes twice. Yeah. Um. So. Probably grab this. The the risk is that if you hit him with ball lightning, he goes to something worse. So will the zap with the lightning from the zap change his intent? No. Okay, we're I definitely doing that. Yeah, I would just play the zap and then pass. We'll take two and we'll get um we'll get some orbs out of static discharge. I guess this doesn't matter. Yeah, it would just bounce out with all the talking. Okay, he got some of that. Um, let's see what we draw off cool headed. Got some more lightning going on. So let's see. Definitely can't kill him. But we can get him off of this 36 attack. Yeah, that's probably a reasonable thing to do. Uh, I would do it with the cold snap. We'd rather have frost than lightning right now. But we probably are in a lightning anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Well, unfortunately, he didn't actually do anything. That's fine. We'll but we actually got up to 31. Yeah, and then we'll get a lot. Yeah, now we can just kill him with the lightning. Even though he's past the turn now. Any number of cards and draw that many? We can mulligan a hand. Um, we can't actually play Meteor Strike, otherwise it'd be kind of cool. Oh, that's hilarious. I think just skip. Head this way? Yeah. Um, 198 gold for a relic. We are hitting another shop, right? That was the plan, but if we decide to throw our gold away, we can just go on the left path that's safer with the lots of the bonfires. I think Here's the shop. We're, look, we're looking for stuff. I think we turn this down and we go to the shop with money. And go for the elite? Yeah. Uh, Definitely grump again. Defrag. Um, cold snap. I would just hologram back the cold snap and play it again. We don't need a dual cast right now, right? No, I think it, we're getting to the point where we're a little more interested in like the long-term value of the orbs over the short-term evoke kind of thing, as mm. the points get longer and longer, you know? So, um, here's so there's not much point in doing damage to him because he's got intangible on. Right now we just want to block for ourselves, which unfortunately we can't really do. We can just rainbow. We can see frost is broken. Um, go ahead and play the ball and just to evoke the frost again. And just do two damage? 
for four damage. This seems optimal. Go get him. <laughs> the one time boot is ever good. <laughs> it did work. <laughs> this is like literally the one, like one time ever. Yeah, let's um, channel. Let's so. get, yeah, let's get some frost down. And some block. And um, some chill and some. We actually have a lot of options here. And probably put the zap out. Well, we are full blocking right now, so we could let. Oh, we are. The Twenty-one. That's right. Trigger. We could let the dark take up a little bit more, which is nice. And we can just kind of sit here, and wait till we see something else useful. And I can strike him. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Look at you and your quick math, dude. I actually am fucking garbage at math. Okay, so we've, this is twenty-one damage. Um. I'm glad the game tells me well, how much damage so this does. He's got intangible on this turn, though, so we definitely don't want to play that. I think you put static discharge in play. But it does five always. Yeah, we're definitely doing this. That heals us. Um, go ahead I mean, I don't think I we have any other play, right? I think cold snap just to move the dark orb into full position. That's true. And then pass the turn. So we can get decent damage out of Barrage. Uh, we got. We can blocks. we can discard and redraw if we only get out of these burns. Yeah, we'll probably get a potion out of this, so that's not a terrible play. And we could just discard toss these. Two burns, and I would toss the steam barrier. Yeah, we're not going to use that. The rest of these we might use. Yeah, I would hold on to those. And we have a cool headed now. Yeah, uh, cold snap. Let's get another orb out. All right, so now we can barrage for a pretty respectable amount. And then cool headed. I would really rather hold on to that until we get a dual cast. I would just barrage and then we full block and then oh, okay. we draw dual cast and just kill him with this dark orb. We don't want to draw it next turn when he's intangible. We want it two turns from now. But we don't have a full block. Yeah, we do. After our Talcum. Oh, yeah, you're right. The six block. That's what I'm forgetting to keep in mind. Hey, Bushi, how you doing? Fortunately, we drew dual cast on the turn that he's intangible. So, we just, uh, take a lot of damage, unfortunately. We lay down and cry. We just... Yeah, play the, just play the defense stuff. It could have been worse. Well, we wasted our Dark Orb because it got evoked was the real problem. Oh, shit. Uh, so just throw our shit out there, I guess. Okay, um, he's intangible again. Yeah, just play the Zap and pass the turn. This is at least five. Yeah, I mean, you might as well. Well, yeah, I mean, you can play it, but he's, gonna, he's dying to the lightning next turn anyway. Like, you yeah. can't play it anyway. Um, now he's dead, yeah, right? So the, the frost will block the burn, so you can just pass the turn. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, and we get the mulligan now. That's actually not bad. That's going to be really nice to have in Donudeka. Oh, uh, there's a glacier finally. Yeah, I would take that. Five, sure. Now I, I would. Now I do wish we had the blizzard in the deck. Like, I think it was really iffy before, but with the glacier, it definitely gets a lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. Left hand side. We're up to sixty-seven. We probably don't yeah, need a rest. We're definitely upgrading here. What does the thunderstrike upgrade even do? I don't, I literally don't know. Nine damage instead of three, or seven. That's not super good. I think the chill upgrade to get an innate is what we were looking for. Um, so we actually don't need chill in this fight. 
Not right? for this one. I think we'll keep Static Discharge, Glacier... Or we can keep the Zap, probably. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't cost anything. That'll let us be a little we, more... We, uh... do one, we do dig one card deeper towards Deep Fragment if we possibly Zap. That's true. But this lets us be more mana efficient. That's kind of what I'm thinking of. What, what does he do on turn one? I forget what his power is. Um, Powerful negative effect, that's all yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what he does. It's just uh, stuff we don't like. I think he buffs himself. I want to keep the zap here, personally. Okay. Oh, but actually, well, with the glacier, it's anti-synergy, because we only have three slots. So... Uh, we didn't really draw much, so we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. Weak and frail, yep, you were correct. Um, let's cool head it and see another card. You can get a dark started. Uh, yeah, just get a dark orb taken up to eat away at this. And then... We don't really need anything else, so we can just rip and tear. Yeah, that's fine. Or we could have cold snapped to move the dark one further forward. That's true. Okay. Here's our defragment. Yeah, definitely play that. Um, I think I would just streamline and barrage here. Nine. Can we get to the... No, we can't get to the dark. Eh, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Just play the cool headed and the cold snap for sure. Oh, there's our chill. And we can just um, generate another one. Go ahead and chill. So that's full block. Um, just strike, and then we'll just keep letting this uh, dark orb count its way up. Yeah. So we don't even. We we can just chill again, right? Yeah. I think I would just let the dark orb keep counting. Do you, you, how do you feel about the lightning? Might as well. That's um, how I feel about it. It does make it a little bit harder for us to like full block as he's continuing to buff himself. Oh, okay. I guess this is 22 block when I press the end turn button. Right. Um, and now we can get our dual cast from the graveyard. I, don't, I think we want to wait until it's doing more. I think you want a hologram for Glacier right now. If we Glacier, we're going to uh, burn this anyway. We'll push the Dark Orb to the front slot. It'll only evoke the one frost. So there's an empty slot. Oh, there's an you're right. You are right. And then Rip and Tear. Yep. I'm not, I'm not used to having this many orb slots. Right. But I see the power uh, in it for sure. Barrage. Neat. Uh, move on with our lives. Yeah. This has to be like a pretty significant percentage of all the damage the boot has ever done. <laughs> it's been useful. Oh, we have dual cast. We haven't actually handled very much lightning, have we? No, we have one. Okay, uh, so we can dual cast for 104. That puts him at like 50. Like Cold Snap and Rainbow. We're taking a lot of damage here. Uh, yeah, Rainbow. We'll, we'll channel some. We'll channel some free lightning here. We, we took some damage. Oh, we should be able to kill him here, right? Yeah, just play Zap. Wow, he's alive. I mean, he won't be as soon as you press end turn. Oh, there you go. Or that. Unupgraded barrage is like 80% of why boot is okay. <laughs> Other 20% is nemesis, according to chat. Where you play a power, draw two cards. That's not great. We only have two powers in the whole yeah. game, don't we? So that's not very good. No, we have just the two. Any of the rest of this, really. We don't need more of these. Or more of these, or more of these, so. I hate this deck. Uh, we're going for the shop again. Yep. Yeah. 
Elemental Bend is a, it's a good relic, we just don't have that many attacks. So it's probably never proccing. One strength. Extra energy for free. During the event. Well, Compile Driver is a nice card draw in our deck. That's true. If we really need to fish. Yeah. Um, we don't need another rainbow. We don't need another... Or I'd actually never seen this. enough power cards to make Storm work. I don't think we need to remove anything, really. I think you can take the strike out. We you don't could. have much else to do with the money. Um, this is cheap, so... Let's grab this. Yeah, I mean, it, it digs us pretty deep. Pretty reliably. Yeah. Go for the eyes is a lot... If it weren't Donu Deca, because they have a lot of artifact charges, like, that's not gonna do anything. Mm -hmm. um, could take another cool-headed. My card has been useful. Yeah, it's it's been a house. And we'll remove the strike. So, hold on, let me see how many attacks we even have, because we might take... I guess it's Two, possible the Vajra is better. Three, four, five, six... Seven. We've never cast this yet, though. Eight, nine. Vajra might be better than removing the strike, honestly. Yeah. Quite right. I'll be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start drinking. Good idea, George. Good this idea. is this is driving me to drink because this <laughs> is a two energy investment though for something that doesn't do anything until three turns from now. And it's like this you're, is you're investing all of that just for forty damage. I don't I don't really think the bomb is very good. Oh oh the bomb. I don't remember what yeah. that was. So you spend two energy, and it does 40 AoE damage three turns from now. Oh, uh, the neutral card? I didn't even look at the neutral card, yeah, it's not going like you're spending half your energy on a turn for something that doesn't do anything for three turns away. Cost of a random card in your hand to zero. You're going to see that third turn, but, like, we're spending two energy on that instead of blocking, so that's that's a lot of damage to be taking. Um, we're yeah, gonna we hold something here. The madness. I think you probably just lose the four max HP, honestly. Well, it's HP now. It's not max. The, oh, you mean this? The bottom one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, whatever. That could be way worse. Let me go here. Yeah, I think we have to. <sighs> Sideways head, man. Chill is not super great here. Uh, not, well, you can definitely get rid of <laughs> like as well. Kind of all the block cards, yeah. Well, channeling the frost is good. So that we can draw a card off yeah. and get a frost out of it. I like the rest I, of these. I think this is fine. Um, I would play the. I actually, might not cool headed. Lightning. I think I would just do. I would do this, like this, this. Like the. The Dark Orb is going to be a, like a way we win this fight, but we probably want a few more orb slots to let Frost chill for a uh, bit. So do everything else. Need to block yeah. for a lot in this fight. Oh, there you go. Fragment, which is nice. Okay, so now I'll, yeah, I'm ball lightning and Frost. That was a pretty good rip. Medic discharge for sure. We could rainbow. Six, seven, and ten. We're already full blocking. Yeah. You just compile driver, you'll see some more cards. True. Do I need anything from here? Just get rid of the tear back, I guess. Yeah. Although, hold up, hologram does. That stops our full block. Or it's awesome, though. Yeah, that stops our full block. You might just, I think you probably just. We're just waiting. Could also get that Dark Orb online. He has 500 yeah, health. and we are good about to get more orb slots. Rainbow's actually pretty good. And he's starting his countdown. Um, barrage. Well, maybe, maybe getting the streamline going. I'd say Cold Snap Barrage, right? Yeah, that seems good. 
Sweet. Unfortunately, we accidentally blocked our mental fan. It's over, isn't it? No, uh, we're doing fine ish. Um, dual cast, but we're a ways away from dual cast. What's the damage we got? We've already channeled five lightning. Nice. That's the most damage this has done yet. Yeah, I mean, it's 40 damage. <laughs> we can actually channel another and then do 48 damage. It does put the dark orb in front, so it's going to be there's a good chance it like accidentally evokes. But like, we do need to get some damage going. So I think He's not attacking this turn. Strike is probably the play. Yeah, look at that go. And we could dual cast this for just another quick 44, but if you want to keep I think we want to count. Yeah. Because he just, like, continually scales more and more. We need to be killing him, like, as yeah. quickly as we can. Now I got the rainbow. There's, like, well, that's going to evoke the dark orb. Yeah, but we could get another dark orb, too. True. And that would put us at 7 plus... 12. That's not enough block, though. I would probably glacier. Oh, we can get the dual cast back. We can get the dual cast back, and then Glacier afterwards. So we can get a 60 off. Yeah, that's not bad. That seems... And the dual cast is free, so we can actually ball lightning and then Glacier. Or rainbow ball lightning. Okay. I'm starting to get it, I think. Quick damage. We'll take six. Alright, so Barrage is going to do a good bit. We're going to cool headed. Hope we draw more blocks sometimes. That's block. Possible. That's good. Then. So we're looking at 14 right now. Um, if we play the defend, we can, uh... Probably play the defend, right? Yeah, we take 12 that way. We could just, we could dexterity at 2, but it's not much. It's, it literally, like, saves us 2 damage. We can oh, do okay. better than that. Okay. Yeah, I think play the defend and pass. Why are we still here? That's a good question. So this is 20, 16. Okay, we have a lot of block though. Yeah, it's cool headed and cold snap. Um, see, mash block, right? Three, if we do that, so we take eight. And then that'll trigger uh, that discharge again. We're getting there. I think we need to play least defend. Yeah, do we use the dexterity potion? Sure, we'll probably get a potion out of this. That's kind of what I was thinking. Now we only take four. Rainbow probably kills him. And streamline, and... I don't... Well, he's still got 68, so it's still quite a bit. Um, it would only... Oh, evoke, right. It would evoke two lightning orbs. Yeah, that. that puts um, him at 48, so that's, that's not quite killing him yet. I think just we'll play the Frost Orb stuff for now. Or at least let's see what we draw off this. Got a chill, so that's a freebie. Yeah, that's a free evoke. We can play that for sure. Um, I think we just play, channel as much. Yeah, I would play the Cold Snap and the Rainbow. Yeah, we're still taking damage, though. Yeah, this was not the elite we were really looking forward to seeing. He is dead, though. <laughs> we channeled 16 lightning orbs that fight. Good stuff. Oh, okay, so this will give us a good thing. Uh, you can, you can take turbo now. Let's, let's look at our deck. Is there anything that we're, like, excited about? God, like, have we seen a single rare in any combat reward ever in this entire run? Is this not a rare? I actually don't know. We got that from uh, boss, didn't we? Oh yeah, these were from bosses. Or oh, this was from bosses. I don't remember where this was from. Yeah, that was the Act One boss reward. This deck, like this one, has sucked. <laughs> I can't believe it's still going at all. 
I don't even know that there's anything we're that excited to play Turbo for. Our, our hands have been really, uh, really lean anyway. Like, yeah, I think we just skip. We, we don't need the void in the deck. Okay, we almost saw. And that was a pretty bad reward to get out of this. He's like, our relics are also kind of bad. Yeah, oh, this, I, is, this is the I block guy. Have, I think we absolutely die to this fight. I don't know how we get through this. We don't have that many attacks to get his strength down. He's going to be hitting us for 80 pretty soon. Um, we can... Gotta keep the... Probably keep uh, the block, right? Well, we definitely don't need to defend. Or no. I don't know if we need Compile Driver. So I think Compile Driver these. lets us get his strength down by hitting him. Like, this guy, when you hit him, his, his damage goes down by whatever he's hitting for. Oh, so yeah, that's right. Compile Driver, I think this is... Yeah, do this. Um, the chat says Strength, strength Potion. potion. Yeah. Might even use the Upgrade Potion to get Glacier and Compile Driver and all that up. I think, yeah, just, just burn it. We're going to die in this fight otherwise. Okay, uh, Compile Driver him, I think. And, yeah, Streamline is pretty good. Like, Streamline is our, our out in this fight. Chill. Yeah. I mean, lead doesn't matter. Yeah. Sure. Like, if we're gonna win this, it's gonna be off Streamline. Uh, I think... I don't know that we... I don't, if we're getting hit, we're probably dying, so I don't know if Static Discharge helps us that much. Um, let's Bolt Snap him. Hold on, we, I think we need probably... Yeah, probably Thunderstrike, at least, just to lower his damage. For each Lightmost Channel. Uh, it's just one. 10, so that takes him to 22. So we take, uh, we take 12 doing it that way. I think I don't think there's any other choice though. Yeah, I kind of agree. Well, nine because of lightning warp. Alright. Uh, uh, bunch of attacks. Definitely dual cast. Let's uh, cool headed and see a card, I think. Uh, ball lightning rip and tear cold snap, I think. Ugh. I hate this guy. This guy's so annoying. Um, this see. is... Do, uh, this is a lot of damage. Yeah, zap and then barrage. Down to 26. Actually, a lot of attacks. We could grab Streamline. Streamline or Defragment are both reasonable options. Defragment scales us a bit. We do have 26 coming. We don't have another, uh, we don't have another, uh, what you call it? Yeah, Rip and Tear is good. Um, we don't have another way to attack him this turn. Get, we'll just get Barrage back out with the Hologram so that we don't... Oh, Barrage might be the best one. Yeah, yeah I think get Barrage back with the Hologram. Uh, Barrage is probably the best one. Yeah. Yeah, because it obviously is at zero. A channel of frost for fun or no? Um, oh, there's no cards in the draw pile, so yeah, that... maybe we'll reshuffle and we'll draw a new one. I think you actually don't do that because if we redraw barrage right if now, if we redraw like bad. defragment, it's, it's bad. Yeah. It's next yeah, I think there's some there's some bad outs. Oh, we just have to make it this one more turn. Oh, that still does jack shit. Um, compile driver. We did get barrage. This draws two cards. Yeah, let's compile driver. We're definitely barraging. Um. And the 23. Probably just do this. Snap. Yeah. yeah. Full snap for sure. And we full block. Yeah, we full block. We actually got 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 13, 13. Yeah. Well, we took a little bit of damage. We didn't die. We didn't die. Yeah. You're just so godlike at coaching, clearly. Because be you said we're going to die multiple times already. We could start with two chills. Uh, that's certainly a thing that could be done. I don't think it's good. <laughs> we do have a gambling chip, though. So we can actually... 
You know, with Gambling Chip, it's not the worst. With Indonu Deca, that, like, well, we only start with two extra orb slots, so it's kind of a waste. Yeah. Yeah, I think we just skip. We don't need too many kills. And this is a good one to have chill on. Yes, it is. <sighs> Keep cool headed. Keep doom and gloom. You want to dump cool headed? Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, it, we play it to draw a card, but we can just get rid of it and draw a card instead. That's true. Uh, chill, static discharge, doom and gloom. Yeah, I think so. You can pile driver here at all. Yeah. Go for the one in the back because he splashed himself and has the lowest health. Ah, uh, okay. And then you tap. Take a little damage. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Um, I think. Yeah, it is. We probably want to cold snap and then dual cast that dark orb. We still targeting the back one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this will kill him. The dark orb will take it out, so we might. So cool headed. Cool Ready commit and well we got the block, so. I would just rip it there and defend, I think. There's no point in well, I guess we pull block well, anyway. There is not any out of blocks, but we're already Yeah. Uh, we're already blocking anyway. Defrag. Rainbow oh we don't have ball lightning. We can play everything if we skip streamline. Uh streamline is gonna be good for killing the one in the front though. We might, um, if you defrag, ball lightning the front one, and then streamline the front one, we'll go up to, we'll be getting eight from the orb, six from Oritalkum, so we'll be full blocking the back one. Yeah, just do whatever. And trap it. Okay. Ooh, and that's probably the best potion we can get before the boss. Yeah, that's pretty good right now. Uh, Reinforced body is actually pretty good here. That's going to get us through some rough turns, potentially. Yeah, I kind of like that one. I like charged battery, but this is probably better. And we immediately healed to 47. Um, let's see. Is there anything we're, like, desperate to upgrade? I don't think... So I think no. we just want the max HP. Because we're going to be getting beat in the face until we're set up. So we just need the... And if we win this, it's by surviving. I, I tend so to concur. Let's see what potions we got. Okay, uh, we want chill. This is the boss like corpse explosion, by the way. <laughs> it was a good time. Um, we'll definitely keep chill. Probably, Probably toss this. Wow, All right. nailed it. Okay. Just do it. Rip it? Rip it, dude. Let it rip. That went fine. Sure. <laughs> what did we play? <laughs> uh, reinforced body. Oh, reinforced body. We have six mana now. Blocks. I don't really know why we have six mana. So we went to six because of the relic, since we just re we were just at a rest site. We go up to six. Oh right, 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 right. Times six when it's played. Okay, so now we can go pretty aggressive. That other potion. Let's see what we got. We're really looking for like deep fragment and static discharge. This draws three. Yes, it does. Uh, you want to go for the one in the back because he's the one that boosts up their strength. So um. What's the hand size limit? Am I reaching that? Ten. Uh, so we draw... Five, six. Yeah, so yeah, if I draw three, I'll overdraw. Uh, go ahead and play the spill. Well, I guess we don't particularly need it. We do have 54 blocks right now. Let's go ahead and see the compile driver. Um, I don't think we're... We did not hit the defrag. I don't think we can just chill on dark orbs reasonably. I think we're more wanting to do... Especially with this power orbs, turn. So I would just to see. Yeah, we can run Zap. Um, I think you can just play Ball Lightning and Cold Snap and Rip and Tear and Barrage, because why not? I think that's about what we can do right now. Okay. 
to defrag, so that's good. You definitely want to get that out, right? Yeah. I would like to get the streamline going, but we also really want the glacier. Yeah, this turn we need the glacier. Let me, okay, so if we dual cast, um, maybe dual cast streamline is better, because that'll get the streamline down to one mana next time. Yeah. Let me just do this. Yeah, I think that was better. Is the static just for it that we made before? Uh, nothing in our discard, which is tragic. Full snap, barrage. Actually, we should have. Well, no, we wouldn't have had the energy to full snap and then hologram and play it again and then. Hologram. Yeah. Uh, uh, just pass, right? Just pass. We'll get. Um, we we'll only, only take 10 and we get a lightning. So we got our ethereals now. Alright, we can play a lot of stuff though. Wouldn't you rainbow glacier? That's almost a full block. It's like the perfect amount to not be a full block by because we still get the two lightning orbs off the attic discard. That's 72 damage now. We can play. Uh, right. 80 damage. And this draws three cards. Yeah, so definitely do that. Uh, so you take 20 if you don't get any more blocks. Is it worth it to do 80? I think we need to preserve our life a little well. Our hand doesn't really preserve life in the first place. The only thing we can do is get a frost. And that costs us 72 damage. Yeah, so maybe it's better to just throw the Thunder Strike out. We'll get some more lightning off of the static discharge. And we can, hit, we can still hit dual cast, which will yeah. uh, pop and kill this guy maybe. Just, uh, just throw the Thunder Strike out. Oh, it's random. Shit. The way that the way Domo is dancing is freaking me out. You don't like the little. Wait, which one's which? I the circle. Don't the, the oh yeah, you don't like the arms? No, it's kind of freaking me out. Okay. Oh, we have a lot of lightning now. We do have. Hey. We could also just do this. We for take, thirty-six uh, block. Well, no. We would take four off of that, so we would get more lightning procs actually, which is pretty good. I actually think we want. I would just reinforce body, yeah. Do you want a dexterity potion it? No, because we, if we take damage, we get more lightning. All right. The, uh, static discharge. All right. So that's now okay. uh, 15. <laughs> if it were up to me, I'd just rip it, but that's it's well, random, we though. We are looking at 40 damage. Yeah. If we don't play any defending stuff, I would cool headed for sure. Not the best draw. We could hologram and get cool headed back again. Although we have thunder strike, maybe it's time to just yolo. Let it fly. So we go to let's see, we we'll block for ten, so we'll go to five. Hopefully we just kill... And hopefully we draw a block next turn. We're doing... So we do... What? 120 damage plus 30 damage, 150 damage. They have 110. Let it rip. Yeah. Just go nuts. Oi! Oh, not... Oh. He has, thir he has 13 after this. So. I think that was the right call. Damn. Because we won the game. This deck should not ever have won. But <laughs> just... Stupid character. Oh, like, that's like... why we never saw a core surge, because you didn't have it unlocked. 